Welcome to My Dream Home with Jody Hinkle. On My Dream Home, we'll help you find your dream home or turn your house into the home of your dreams. Learn about the properties, products, and services that will make that dream a reality. Brought to you in part by Railyard, upscale urban offices for sophisticated professionals. And Patio Pools, local family fun since 1969. Welcome to My Dream Home. On today's show, we're actually coming to you from Copper Country Antiques and Collectibles Mall. Now, one of the cool things about this is it's really a craze right now, interior design to marry old items with new items. And at this place, you'll find everything. Uh, everything from sofas dating back to the 1890s to you know things from the 50s and 60s that can really help you complete a room or a look that you're going for in your house. So let's go take a look around this place. Happy to welcome to the show, Harlan Worth. Harlan, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Now you are a dealer here at uh, Copper Country Antiques and Collectible Mall, and you specialize in some very interesting items like we have here. Well, these masks are originals. Uh, one of the artists is D.R. Nance, it's Gord Art. You've got another art artist called uh, Rivera, and uh, it's all original. Uh, he's quite famous and got a lot of uh, publicity for his work, um, and we've got a an awful large variety of things, a very eclectic collection. So someone who's looking for something for their home, they can probably find something here. I retired quite a few years ago and I wanted to have some kind of hobby that might make a little money. So my wife and I got into um, uh, being dealers in the mall. So uh, one of the things I was interested in is art and collecting original art and antique art. Uh, and masks and just about everything you could find that right. you'd put on a wall. But you are actually giving it a second life by allowing somebody else to appreciate it and use it in their home. Right. Well, pretty much everything on this wall comes from an estate sale. Uh, it's what, what people have collected in their lives and then they pass away and uh, a number of uh, uh, dealers will have sales on the weekend and they'll sell all of these items and I make a practice of getting out there like on Saturdays and finding what might fit for, for resale here. Right. Now you didn't have to do this. This wasn't like an income thing for you. Is this something that you started to do because you had a passion for collectibles? Yes, I, I really enjoy it. Um, my wife and I started this uh, probably about 10 years ago and starting in this mall and we've been doing it ever since and it's kind of like a fun thing because not only can we find things to sell in the store, but our house is rather nicely uh, furnished with all of this, these sorts of things because right. we get something that we really like and it goes into our home. So that's kind of a little bonus. For the folks that you know come down here to Copper Country, how can they get in touch with you? Oh, well, they, uh, they can't miss this wall. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's huge, so you wouldn't have to look too far. Uh, my dealer number here is 6138, but they, the people here know who I am and uh, just ask around and you wouldn't have any trouble finding this. Uh, it's a it's the only large wall like this in the place so I right. and you, it's very interesting just to walk by and look at all the different things we have definitely well thanks for being on the show Harlan sure thing I'd like to uh, welcome to the show Luke Luke you are a dealer here at Copper Country Antique yeah, yes I am yeah. So what is your specialty? Is there something that you like to look for when you're going out there and looking for items to put in your booth? Well, my uh, specialties are in uh, Asian uh, antiques and collectibles. Okay. And so those are normally the things that I would look for when I go out, uh, usually to fairs and uh, auctions and estates in that sort of thing and however one, once in a while I, if I see something outside of my uh, my uh, specialty areas and if they are of good quality mm -hmm. uh, I would consider buying them as well. The Asian art and Asian influences when it comes to design is very popular and it seems like it's always in, in vogue. So what is something that your clients really like when you're able to go find it? Uh, usually things that um, have uh, utilitarian uh, purposes like uh, lamps, tables, chairs sure. and that sort of thing. And then in addition to that we have uh, 
we have the so-called curio cabinet type of sure. uh, antiques that people, that uh, collectors of, uh, of Asian antiques would like to, uh, to get small things, you know, to be displayed right. in a, a, a curio cabinet. So basically, there's a lot of different things out there that you could look for and, and uh, buy and sell. Yeah, I, I know that that's big with a, a lot of folks right now is using those Asian religious symbols to bring into their homes and yeah. to try to create a peaceful environment. Does that yeah. sound about right? Yeah, it has always been quite popular in, 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 uh, in the West, uh, especially uh, figures of... Uh, uh, Buddha, uh, especially with uh, very calm and meditative uh, facial expressions, mm -hmm. uh, those are always very popular among uh, Western collectors as well as for the decorative uh, uh, home uh, market uh, right. here. But uh, today, um, the, the uh, religious figures that are really popular among serious buyers, especially uh, uh, Asian buyers, uh, uh, the, the real old and fine uh, religious uh, figures, either in bronze or in some other medium. So what do you get out of doing this? What do you get out of going and finding these objects and basically giving them new life and new homes? Well, uh, my mission is to look for special things um, besides, you know, the hope of making some money uh, by buying it and, and, and re, uh, by buying them and reselling them. Uh, I also hope to, to pass them on to the right uh, uh, collectors or the right uh, people who appreciate them and enjoy having them right. uh, in their home. So that, um, that does give me some satisfaction. So folks at home, come down to Copper Country Antiques yes. and Collectible Mall and check out Luke's uh, booth over here. Yeah. He's got some amazing items that would definitely beautify your home. Thank yes. you for being on the yeah, show. You're quite welcome. Yeah, my, uh, my booth here is 072 and I have uh, a very uh, interesting collection of of different things here, a medley of uh, so many different things, but lastly Asian. So if you folks uh, uh, have some need uh, to buy some uh, Asian uh, decorative uh, accessory items for your home, come on down. This yeah. is a good place. My Dream Home is brought to you by Patio Pools, local family fun since 1969. Patio Pools and Spas has several ways to enhance your backyard experience. From building custom in-ground pools and spas, hot tubs, pool cleaning and service, a complete renovations department, and five area retail stores to serve you. Patio Pools carries only top quality products like the BioGuard line of chemicals, top name brand swimwear, patio furniture, therapeutic hot tubs, and all your pool equipment needs. Call 886-POOL or go to patiopoolsaz.com for a location near you. Nothing beats swimming in our patio pool. A BioGuard Platinum Dealer. Hi, my name's Craig Decker. I'm one of the pool cleaning supervisors for Patio Pools and Spas. This would be the first step that you do when you get to a pool. You would test the water chemistry to find out where your chlorine's at, where your pH is at, and where your total alkalinity is at. This will tell you what your pool needs in order to maintain a clear and blue pool. The biggest concern when it comes to a pool would be your sanitizer level. In order to be comfortable in a pool, your pH level would be another big concern for your pool. As long as your sanitizer and your pH are in line, your pool is going to be nice to swim in. If those two get off, your pool will not be nice to swim in. In Tucson, the biggest thing that I would say would be the hardest thing to keep up a pool would be the chemistry, such as your you know, summer to winter change, your monsoon seasons and stuff like that. Your chlorine demand is basically what you want to make sure that you have met, otherwise that's where your pool starts to turn. You get yellow algae, black algae, uh, green pools. In order to stay on top of your chemicals, if you have questions about you know, chemistry and where chemistry's at, which most customers do, it's always easier to take a water sample into one of our local stores and they'll do a free computer-sized water analysis on it and give you a rundown of where your chemistry's at. After the homeowner gets done checking his chemistry or the you know, professional that is out on site checking his chemistry, they will know what the pool needs in order to stay in line. 
I have a mixed variety of chemicals here which would keep the pool in line, such as your balance packs. Your balance packs, this one is going to be to keep the alkalinity up if the alkalinity is low, such as your pH increaser, the pH is low. Clarifier, if the water's cloudy and you can't seem to get it filtered out, this is basically a congagulant that takes all the real small particles, clumps them together so the filter can catch it. Your shocks, if your pool needs shocked, because the chlorine's gonna break down the bacteria algae, what it's not gonna break down to the body oil, skin cells, and sweat, that's what the shock's gonna break down. Your normal chlorine tabs to find out how many the pool actually needs, depending on type of season and stuff like that. And the two big boxes that are in the back here, this right here is liquid chlorine, in case you need to take your chlorine up quickly because you have no count of chlorine into your pool and your acids if your pH runs high because of rain. At Patio Pools, we strive to be the leader in the industry. We, we you know, in our interview processes, we do background treks, drug screening, driving records. We do everything for every employee that is on site. So with Patio Pools, when there's a employee on site, you don't have to worry about, you know, being scared about anything. With Patio Pools, you get a turnkey system. They have all their own in-house crews from their electricians to the gunites to their excavation to their pool cleaning to their service to everything it's the only place in town that has all their own crews that specialize in everything specifically so if you're a pool owner at your own house and you have questions about anything pool related from your pumps to your filter to your water chemistry or anything like that easiest thing to do is give patio pools a call 886-1211 and the operator will transfer you to the correct person to make sure that the issue gets taken care of. We're out on location at Hacienda de Mexico and uh, we're here with one of the owners, Anna Maria Schelling. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Now, you guys have a lot of lovely pieces in here, especially, you know, the artwork that you've done. And I am always impressed whenever I come in here, whether it be the teak wood, the iron work, whatever it is. Can you tell the audience at home about the store and how you guys got started? Yeah. We, uh, we're a family business and it started before I was born with my parents and then uh, they retired. We came to the States and my mother opened a store with uh, my brother, starting with my brother. She, um, her name was Ana, Ana Vizcaino. She is responsible for the love that we have for furniture, the uh, craftsmanship and uh, in the customer service that we believe m must be present all the time. So Anna Maria, this is a really exciting thing that you guys do. You design and manufacture your own furniture here in Tucson, but you also get pieces from Mexico and you bring it into the store as well. What's that whole experience like for you? It's, you know, the, the beauty about going to Mexico and bringing pieces is, is uh, the people. They are the best craftsmanship that there are. So those are the pieces like this one that are made in Mexico sure. and, um, and we manufacture there and we bring it here. However, since times have changed, um, since 2008, we have begun to manufacture here in Tucson and that's right. where all of our custom pieces are done. And not only can they get beautiful pieces here, but it's beautiful pieces that are made here. Yes. Do you guys have a lot of teak furniture and teak is great for a lot of things inside your home? or actually outside as well, is that right? Yes, it's a beautiful wood. All of our teak furniture is reclaimed wood. That is the furniture that we are bringing. We have a, a great source from, uh, from India. And so we pick very, very um, unique, specific pieces that fit with the, uh, with the Mexican furniture. So they really blend well together. They do, they yeah, do. Yeah, and they're beautiful. I mean, looking at the, uh, the chair and table set that I would use on, say, by my pool or something like that, those are amazing pieces. Um, they really do stand up to the, the, the sunlight that we get here, is that right? They do. Um, there's a lot of pieces that can go outdoors and uh, wear very well without any cracking. When I think of Tucson and we, I think of the design elements there, I think of it as a rustic look. Would you yes, agree with that? It is a rustic look. Um, some people think that rustic is something uh, very old that is going to fall apart. Right. But rustic can also be very strong wood that um, 
looks old, has like an old soul, um, but you could say that it uh, it looks old, but it's, it's strong. Sure, definitely. Now I'm actually going to go talk to Carol, and she's going to show me a couple other items. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. We have here Carol Peabody, the other owner of Hacienda de Mexico. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Now, one of the things that I know that we just talked about teak, but the other thing that you guys design and manufacture that's totally beautiful is your ironwork. And uh, I know this piece here has a great wood top to it, but the legs are, are really nice. Uh, tell me about your ironwork. Well, as you said, we design and manufacture it. Um, what makes it unique is that it's naturally oxidized. So every piece that comes to us has a little different patina to it. Really? Depending on the, the weather conditions. So it may come with a little rust in it. It may have some blues, mm -hmm. may have some browns. Um, a lot of our iron work is uh, hand forged. Okay. So every piece is unique. And again, we do custom design. So not only is it unique, it's one of a kind, really. Absolutely. Now, I, I've seen the tables that you guys do that are amazing. Um, you know, whether it be a coffee table, end table, these kinds of tables. What other items do you do that are iron in nature? Is it like your chandeliers, your lighting? Yes, all of our chandeliers um, in iron we do. Um, all the iron mirrors that you see, table and floor lamps. Okay. Uh, you can come in with a design for maybe a candelabra. Really? And uh, we, can, we can do that for you. If somebody is out looking for furniture, what makes you guys different? I think one of the big things that makes us different is that we are locally owned right. and customer service is the ultimate for us. And I've seen that firsthand. Thank you. We have no problems, we only have solutions. And so that's what we want people to know when they come into our store, that we are here for them. Now for the folks at home that uh, would love to come down and see this beautiful showroom, how can they get down here? Well, uh, once you're on Grant, we are at 4380 East Grant Road, and we are a block and a half west of Swan. Excellent. And we are a large freestanding building with a big burgundy awning, and we're hard to miss. Well, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Welcome to 18030 South Colb Road, Saberita, Arizona, 85629. The best awaits you in this energy efficient 2x4 with slump block constructed home. The inviting open floor plan provides the ideal setting for entertaining or relaxing in front of the Kiva fireplace. This house has eye-catching altar cabinets and doors throughout. The master suite includes dual sink vanity, walk-in closet, spa shower, and jetted tub. Two guest bedrooms in addition to a spacious attached casita provides flexible living arrangements. The casita has a separate entrance, wheelchair adapted with a very large closet and storage space. There's also an additional building with 144 square feet of storage in 144 square feet of a workshop. Other features include vaulted ceilings, fans, and attic space. There's also state land across the road. A beautiful outdoor fire pit is surrounded by rock seating. Enjoy the amazing sunset, mountain views, and natural surroundings. This house is listed at $338,000. For more information, call Joette Shank at 520-260-9224 or go to her website at joetteshank.com. Hi, I'm Joette Shank with HomeSmart Pros Real Estate. When we think of retirement homes, we realize that we have another set of options that we had never probably dealt with in the past. When we're raising families, we think about, is the school district a good one for our children? How far is it to work? Is it close to our church or synagogue? And then when we retire, it's a whole different ball of wax. Uh, at retirement, you wanna think about not only the house and how it's going to fit your lifestyle, but also the community that the house is located in. You don't wanna overpay for amenities that you're not going to use and you want to make sure that those things that are important to you in retirement are available in that community. So if it's pickleball you're looking for, make sure your new community has that available. Uh, a lot of people play cards and there's a number of different card games, but you can really fine tune all the way down to bird watching, uh, travel groups, dinner groups, which this would be a great place for a dinner group. Uh, any of those things that are important to you uh, should be addressed before you purchase your home. So find a real estate agent that is going to listen to your needs and wants and find you the home that matches those things. If you're interested in listing your home or buying a new home, you can reach me at 
260-9224 or on my website, joetteshank.com. My Dream Home is brought to you by RailYard, upscale urban offices for sophisticated professionals. At Baker's, you'll find distinctive and timeless furniture for every room in your home. Selection and style all come together in one place. for you to choose that perfect piece. Explore your new look. Baker's Tucson's Furniture Showroom, 2303 East Grand Road, west of Tucson Boulevard. At Nova Home Loans, we know your home is where some of the most important times of your life take place. Poolside contests become a thing of legend. A secret hiding spot brings to life hush whispers and quiet giggles. And a fairy tale is a magical ending to a perfect day. Nova Home Loans is more than a mortgage company. We're the official sponsor of Cannonballs, Hide and Seek, Bedtime Stories, and you. I'm excited to welcome to the show John Bay, Senior Loan Officer at Nova Home Loans. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for inviting me. Now, you've been in the mortgage industry for over 21 years. That is correct. And I bet during that time period, you've seen a lot of things. You know, the ups and downs of the market, whether it be... Uh, harder or easier to get a loan or you know home rates rising and falling you've seen it all I've seen it all so what do you think about the current market um the current market is absolutely phenomenal I mean, you can still get a great home at a great price interest rates are extremely low there's down payment assistance to help those that need it um it's i mean couldn't be a better time to buy right now that being said i know a few years ago it was really difficult on a lot of people and I knew a lot of people that lost their homes, had to deal with some bad credit issues. For those folks that went through that, is there assistance out there for them now? Absolutely. Um, most people can buy after a bankruptcy um, within two years. If they've had a house that was included in that, they can buy, it takes about three years. Um, but there's definitely down payment assistance available for anybody. And you don't even have to be a first time home buyer. Really? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. A lot of those credit problems that they had in the past have cleared up and they've actually um, are a few years removed from that. So that's what allows them to get into the house, you think, or what is it? That is correct. Um, Nova Home Loans has a program, a credit um, department that assists our borrowers with reestablishing credit, okay. making sure that the credit reports are up to date, are reporting accurately. Um, a lot of times there's a lot of things that are on a credit report that are holding our borrowers back. Um, time only fixes all for short sales, foreclosures, bankruptcies. Um, those you can't get around. Right. Um, but once that time period has ended, uh, the borrower, we need to be working on the credit scores to make sure that we're at a 640 to get most down payment assistance programs. Sure. And the whole goal there is to get you into a house that you can afford. Absolutely. I know that when some people flub those numbers, well then they're in a house and they may be house poor, right? I mean, they have a nice That's house, right. but they struggle every month to afford it. And that's the thing with mortgages, right? It's looking at the overall income and expenditures and trying to, you know, see what's going to fit the lifestyle and what can, uh, people can actually afford. That is correct. That is correct. And many times you purchase a home, you want to make sure that it's something, especially when you have um, debt income ratio issues. I mean, FHA is the program that we use um, predominantly for our credit challenge bars because the ability to get a loan is at a lower credit score. Sure. Um, it's definitely a strong product and they allow borrowers to um, go a little higher on the debt to income ratio side of it. Um, not much, but a little higher. But the debt to income ratio program, or excuse me, the down payment assistance programs have certain requirements that we have to stick to because they want to make sure that they're not assisting somebody purchase a home that they're going to eventually end up losing. Right. So when it comes to debt to income ratios, they're super strict. Um, when it comes to the down payment assistance programs. But if a borrower is coming in with their own money, sometimes we can get a little flexible with those to assist a borrower to buy a little bit more if the situation permits. Sure. Well, tell me about some of those down payment assistance programs. I know that there are definitely some things out there. I know that the government's trying to jumpstart, you know, the economy and get people back into homes. Tell me about some of those programs. One of the programs that we use a lot is the Pima County Tucson IDA program. Okay. And what that does is it gives a borrower um, three three different options. Um, the most popular of those is the 4% down payment assistance. The 4% that the DPA gives you allows 3.5% um, for the down payment mm -hmm. and the other half percent for um, any additional fees that come along with that program. So it helps cover them. 
So in essence, the borrower's out-of-pocket costs are very minimal. Really? Um, I usually like to tell my borrowers when they're looking for a home, expect about $1,800 out-of-pocket. And the reason why is when you're looking at a home and you go into contract, it's $500 to $1,000 is what is going to be required for your earnest money. Um, once you go into contract, it's accepted, you've done your earnest money deposit, then comes the inspections. And sure. those can be anywhere from $250 to $350, depending on the size of the home, uh, the type of home. Um, and then once the inspection has been done and the borrower decides to move forward with the purchase, then there's the appraisal. And the appraisal is about $450. Um, with that being said, we look at about $1,800 total out of pocket. So I'm going to be looking to purchase another home here in the near future. Okay. And what would be the first step for me, you know, before I start going out and looking at houses? What's the first thing I need to do? It's an excellent question. Uh, the first thing you need to do is sit down with me. Right. And we will pull credit, do an application, um, find out where your debt to income ratio is based on um, your tax returns because you are self-employed. Right. Uh, we review the credit, make sure that your credit scores are in line with the type of home that you're purchasing um, because the different programs allow for different ratios. If you're going conventional um, and you're looking to put 5 to 10% down, if not more, we want to make sure that we're under a certain amount. If you're using down payment assistance and you're purchasing a home that's FHA, mm -hmm. under 271000 um, we have down payment assistance for those as well. We see, we look, we do pretty much a check on everything to make sure credit-wise you qualify, income-wise you qualify, um, the type of home that you're purchasing. Um, every purchase scenario is different and we want to make sure that our borrowers are pre-qualified and ready to go. That way they don't have any issues at the tail end. Right. That's correct. Now, I, I understand that if I'm trying to get a loan and I'm not trying to, and I'm not getting as much as I want, right, then I may not be as happy about it. But I understand is that the big picture is to protect the people buying the house, protecting Absolutely. the lenders, you know, Absolutely. and to protect everybody in general and make sure people are getting the house that they can afford. Absolutely. And ultimately, we don't want our borrowers to be house poor. Right. We want them to still be able to enjoy their life you know, and not have to work three jobs to support that. Right. And that's why the changes were made. And I think it's working well. You know, there, there are a lot of people upset because they can't afford this or they can't um, qualify for that amount. But, you know, we have to explain to them that we're there to protect their best interest. Right. And that's what we do. So for the folks at home like myself who need to go out there and get pre-qualified to get that home, mm -hmm. what is the best way for them to get in touch with you? You can call me on my cell phone at 520-247. 1414, or you can email me at uh, john.bays at novahomeloans.com. Fantastic. Well, thanks for being on the show. I appreciate it. I always learn something from you every time. <laughs> I try. Thank you for joining us today. Remember, if you missed any part of today's show or you just want to watch it again, go to mydreamhometv.com. I'm Jody Hinkle, and I look forward to seeing you again next Sunday at 8 a.m. right here on ABC KGUN 9.